I guess really on simple, but Iverson gave you trouble all night. But what you see on that that last play, just kind of how did you get him kind of moving the wrong way to open that lane? Um, Rod came up to the screen. They they messed up the uh, the read on it. And I just seen a lane to go get to the basket. And that's just what I did. <coughs> Go ahead. Uh, Mace Fionnala getting some meaningful minutes in the game and then kind of getting thrown to the fire there with the, the overtime periods. Just, I mean, how did you kind of keep yourself calm and composed during that stretch and how do you think you performed up there? Uh, I kept calm because my teammates, I know they have faith in me. They keep telling me I'm good, like you got this. And this is like what we do for a living, so there's no need, reason for me to be nervous or nothing. That's what I do. And then I think I just played to my strengths and did what I had to do. For all of you guys, so many of these types of close games have gone against you guys this season. What made tonight different? Uh, I'd say the home crowd. Home crowd got into it, and um, I feel like that boosted us, and uh, the next man up stepped up, and that helped us a lot. Thank you. Race, you've been able to go against Deron Davis and Joan Morgan in practice consistently. How did that help you for your matchup today against Ethan Happ? It helped me a lot. Um, going up, going up against them every day is not easy at all. They're really good players, so we help each other every day in practice. So much, really help each other. Too. Zach and Alex. <coughs> for any of you three guys, it's a, it's a double overtime game. You're all freshmen. You're the ones that are sitting in here talking about it. Um, I know some guys fouled out and things like that, but for a young team, just how much of a learning experience have some of these close games been, whether it's been the wins against Michigan State and Wisconsin, or obviously some of the close losses the last couple of weeks? Uh, I mean, like you said, we've been in a lot of close close games, and uh, this team is majority young uh, and new faces onto the, to the scene, but I just feel like the games we've played in the first half of the season and then some of the games we've played in the second half, which came down to the wire, just prepared us for this. And, uh, we, we learned from our mistakes for the ones that we lost and kept on battling and we came up on top today. Alex and Dustin. Guys, I think for any of you, after the play of the game, it, I guess it would have been easy for you guys to kind of just, you know, play out the rest of the season. But the last three games, I know you only won one of them, but you've, you've kind of shown a lot of fight. And what, what has kept this team together and, and kind of continuing to play hard despite the, the losing? Uh, I say our leadership, uh, J-Mo, just the seniors. I mean, we don't want to go out on a bad note. Uh, like you said, we could have did that, but we just stay together and uh, we just we're gonna keep fighting. Dustin, what do you guys mention? Just the games, the close games you guys played in the first half of the season. Did tonight remind you of the team you were in December? This was the sort of games that you, you know, won during that stretch. Uh, I felt like the last three games really um, reminded us, reminded us of ourselves uh, in the beginning of the season, just how hard we've been playing and the and holding ourselves on defense, even though we came up short. But uh, uh, especially tonight, uh, we went into overtimes and. Beginning of the season, we didn't give up on like a team made a run on us, and uh, Wisconsin they made a, a, a run on us when we got up. Uh, I think like ten, they came back and took a lead, and uh, we didn't panic and we just stayed with it. Okay, anything else from players? Go ahead. I guess for any of y'all, it's kind of a, a simple question, but just from an emotional standpoint, what is you know pulling out a victory not only to have something in the win column, but in this kind of you know great style and double overtime, what does that do for the confidence or just kind of you know keeping you going as the season nears an end? Oh yeah, it is a confidence booster. So we just have to build off that and um, take one game at a time and bring it to Michigan State Saturday. Anything else for the players, Dustin? <clears throat> uh, Romeo, just put it for you just to just come through with a shot like that. Basically, I mean, you had the ball in your hands late in the game in certain situations. This this time you're able to just take it to somebody. Just you know, what does it mean to mean for you when you have the ball in your hand at the end to be the guy who makes that shot? Uh, I mean, just finally, I, I hit one. I mean, I, I know the past two times um, I had to hit my hand in the game. Uh, it didn't come out as we playing, but I just learned from my mistakes in the past two. I'm um, settling for a jump shot and felt like they couldn't stop me getting to the rim, and that's what, exactly what I did, and uh, I made the shot. All right, guys, thanks.